Hi everyone, I am Cornelius of Voice Studio East, and this is a special episode in which I will try to outline the steps to developing a solid mixed voice, including what prerequisites I would advise you to learn first to make the process easier. Given how a lot of voice teachers treat mixed voice as the absolute first thing to learn, you might be surprised by the sheer number and variety of prerequisites. In fact, if you have been trying to learn mixed voice for a while and not succeeded yet, the most likely reason is that you're missing some prerequisites. First and foremost, any high-pitched singing, whether it is falsetto, mixed voice or belting, is gonna be hard to do if you keep losing the setup and having to re-establish it. What do I mean by this? By setup, I am referring to the vocal tract shaping, the larynx position, the posture, the general level of energy in the body and in the face, and so on. All of these are highly pitch dependent, such that the setup for high notes has a certain intensity to it. You could even call it a kind of tenseness. Not as in being rigid and locked up, but as in being engaged and ready for action. If, when singing mixed voice, you keep loosing this setup and letting go of all the engagement, the pitch will begin drooping and you will find yourself having to always reach back up for the high notes. It might sound something like this. As opposed to this. The key here is to keep a certain continuity to the notes, this being known as legato articulation. I want to be clear that I'm not simply saying you should keep this connectedness in mind when practicing mixed voice. Instead, you must first develop legato in a comfortable range and get it feeling like second nature before you are ready to learn mixed voice. This and other topics are covered in my beginner singing course, which you will find linked in the description. Secondly, since mixed voice relies on strong vocal fold closure, medial compression to be precise, you will need to develop some clarity and firmness in the tone. Again, this is best practiced lower in pitch where you are more comfortable. The goal is to get from this slightly lazy quality ah, to this more energetic quality. Ah. It helps to be bold and animated, and a good trick can be to practice speaking loudly and emphatically like this, using what is often referred to as an outdoors voice. Even before getting properly confident with mixed voice, this should also already allow you to sing past E4 with a certain level of ease and facility. Thirdly, we need to learn to separate the energy levels in the face and vocal tract from the energy level in the core musculature, this being the most difficult skill to learn at the beginner stage. This means we need to be able to use a highly active articulation not only when your body is engaged and active, but also in combination with a relaxed, disengaged posture. For instance, if you're singing Shawn Mendes, especially his older songs, you will need both an active body and an active face. And now that I'm without your kisses, I'll be needing stitches. Whereas if you're singing a Jason Raz song, you will need a relaxed body, but still a certain level of energy to your articulation. Well, you done done me and you paid a third it. I tried to be chill, but you're so hard that I melted. I fell right through the cracks. I should mention in this connection that practicing falsetto is a great way to learn how to sing with an energetic articulation in combination with a relaxed body. In part because if the face is too passive when singing in falsetto, the result will be a very lifeless sound but also because it is easier to learn to sing in this way without also having to learn to sing soft high notes in chest voice at the same time. 
This is also a good time to bring up register separation, the idea of isolating falsetto and chest voice to separate pitch regions and practicing them apart from each other, reinforcing their distinctive characteristics rather than trying to equalize them right off the bat. The advantage of this is that it allows you to develop chest voice in the contexts where chest voice is really at home, while developing falsetto in the contexts where falsetto is at home. This also makes it easier to practice legato, to develop warmth in the tone, and so on. But most importantly, it prevents the registers from getting sort of muddied or mixed together. If you have learned all these prerequisites, then you should already be able to sing brightly and softly up to G4 or thereabouts. By the way, all these prerequisites are covered in my beginner course, which you can watch for free using the link in the description. But even having learned the basics, you will still need a roadmap for learning the mixed voice coordination itself. Mixed voice involves essentially four considerations, which are covered in the first episode of my intermediate course. These four considerations are volume, compression, twang, and vowels. To learn mixed voice, you will need to learn to control these aspects with a certain degree of independence so that you can practice balancing them to produce a functional mixed voice. This is most easily done in the lower fourth octave. When you have mastered it there, you can take it up to the upper fourth octave, or you can follow my intermediate course to practice various exercises aimed at achieving this balance more or less automatically. Here are a couple of example exercises that are useful in this respect. <laughs> But even having done this and built a well-coordinated mixed voice, there is still the matter of applying it to songs whose vowels are not always chosen for our convenience, and where we may find odd registration challenges associated with the switch from mixed voice to chest voice. This latter point bears emphasizing. While some teachers advocate using mixed voice for your entire range, I consider this highly inadvisable, because there will be a tendency to push the lower notes towards more volume by lowering the larynx a lot and squeezing the vocal folds together instead of increasing the TA activity, resulting in what we might call a false chest voice. The problem with this is that when going back up in pitch, this false chest voice will still need to be thinned out, and so the singer will stretch the vocal folds even further and then push this even thinner coordination toward an even falser chest voice when going back down in pitch, and so on. I call this a squeezing spiral, and the way to prevent it is to have a solid chest voice to return to when going back down in pitch. But such a switch must be practiced for you to become fluent with it. You must practice letting go of the narrow vowels and the extra compression and allow yourself to drop back down into chest voice for the low notes, producing a sensation of falling or landing heavily. Then, having learned this skill, you will need to practice songs that feature a lot of mixed voice, all the while looking out for suitable opportunities to drop back into chest voice. Once transitions in and out of mixed voice have become second nature to you, along with the associated vowel modifications and so on, you will have developed a consistent mixed voice. So, in summary, here is the roadmap to mixed voice. Learn to sing with legato articulation, learn to produce a clear, bright tone, practice falsetto, learn to control the energy in your face and your core musculature independently, familiarize yourself with the four aspects of mixed voice, these being volume, compression, twang, and vowels, Develop the actual mixed voice coordination, become fluent at transitioning in and out of mixed voice, and then practice applying it to songs until it becomes second nature. As you can see, quite a lot goes into learning mixed voice. If you've been stuck for a while, perhaps you simply need to take a more systematic approach.
For this, you can try my free courses or join us on Discord for regular feedback and a community to discuss vocal technique with, or go to my website to sign up for lessons. And that's about it for this video. If you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment down below. Stay tuned, remember to like and subscribe for more content, and as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>